So we rolled the boat over, the bottom was a little wavy, so we pulled it up and pushed it down where we needed it. Then we pulled thick and epoxy between our zip ties. Once the epoxy cures, we can take the weight, off, the weight off, cut all of our zip ties off, and we'll be ready to prep for glass. So we're dry fitting our fiberglass. We started by sanding the bottom and the sides of the boat. Put a quarter inch radius on the edges, so our fiberglass will wrap over easier. To cut the fiberglass, we're going to cut it six inches longer than the length here at the shear. And we're going to cut it about a half inch to an inch longer than our widest dimension. The glass will be wider at the front, we'll trim it. We marked ours with a sharpie and cut it with scissors. Just be careful not to nick the fiberglass or get it pull it apart because that could show up as an imperfection later in the process you'll have to work out. Your edge here is, can overhang. This is a great way if you're unsure how long to cut it. So we left it a little long here to make sure that we don't come up short and we can trim this off later whenever it cures. The order that we're applying this is the same order we'll apply it when wet, when we're bonding it to the boat. We'll start with our sides and then move to the bottom. So we have the other side on, cut the same way, two inches of overlap for each piece at the front, four inches on the back. The bottom piece we've already cut, so we'll roll it out and show you how that is. So this will overhang the edges here. Once it cures, we'll trim it off. The reason for the overhang is to reinforce the edge here. So we also have a six inch wide strip that goes down the keel that reinforces it and gives us wear resistance. Both of these pieces overlap four inches at the rear. So we have all of our holes from our zip ties and then the seam of our plywood. We're going to fill all this in with epoxy before we glass. I like to do it right before so that I don't have to sand it, but you can apply it, let it dry, sand it, and then apply your glass. So what we can do is you can take like an old shopping card, mix up thickened epoxy, and pull it through here like this. Make sure you pack it into the holes. Some will go through. We'll clean that up on the other side after we flip the boat over. Don't worry about it. We just filled all the cracks and holes with thickened epoxy. Now we're going to apply a coat of epoxy to the whole boat in preparation for the glass. We can use a chip brush or a foam roller. Now that we've covered the entire boat with epoxy, we're going to apply a fiberglass and we'll start with the sides. I've laid it loosely in position. I'll come back and work each area, get it to lay down exactly like I want it. We just applied this piece of fiberglass. Some of the areas have wet through and some haven't. So we'll take our brush or our roller and we'll apply another coat of red. So we applied our glass, we've got both sides, the bottom and our peel strip on. 
We've let it get tacky. Normally it'll take one to three hours depending on your temperature. Hotter temperatures, quicker cures. So what we're gonna do now is do a flood coat. We've mixed up epoxy and we've add, added a microlite fairing filler. The purpose of this is so that you can sand the top of the resin without sanding away the fiberglass. So I'm gonna use a chip brush and I'm just gonna brush on a light coat. glass is cured, we trimmed off the edges, we sand it on smooth, just be careful not to sand through the fiberglass. Now we'll roll it over, start glassing the inside.